The following video is part of my Enterprise MPLS VPN deployment webinar. To learn more about my webinars, please visit my website. You all know how VLANs work. They've been with us for a long time. We have separate bridges for each VLAN. And then on trunk links, you have some sort of multiplexer, which tags the packets so that a similar multiplexer on the other bridge knows into which of the smaller bridges to send the packets. So VLANs are effectively provide isolation between layer two domains. They give you virt multiple virtual bridges in the same physical box. And we use tagging with 802.1Q standard to send packets belonging to different VLANs across a shared trunk. Now, obviously, there are two well-known problems. First one, bridging doesn't scale. And until we get fabric path and trail, we still have to deal with spanning tree. So either use per VLAN spanning tree or multiple spanning tree protocol. But for large networks, it's a pain. VRFs are very similar to VLANs in the concepts, but instead of virtual bridges, we have virtual routers. So each VRF is an independent router. It's totally independent from any other router running in the same physical box. It has its own interfaces. It has its own IP subnets it has its own routing protocols. So if you're running an OSPF process in a VRF, it's a separate process with separate hello packets with separate OSPF topology, and it inserts the results of SPF algorithm in a separate IP routing table that is used only for packets that enter through the interfaces that belong to this VRF. So yet again, each VRF has its own interfaces, its own routing protocols, its own routing and forwarding table. It looks like a router. It acts like a router. But there are two caveats. One is management. You don't configure a VRF like a separate router. With virtual device contexts on ASA or on Nexus 7000, when you configure one of the device contexts, it's a separate configuration. So the management of the device context is completely isolated. Here, you're still using one CLI. You're using one configuration file. Whoever has access to the config mode can configure whichever VRF he wishes. You might limit that with security features, but still there is a single management. To get more information about my webinars, to register for an online session or buy a recording, please visit my website.